So this experiment is to find the impedance of RL, RC and RLC circuits which are all connected in series. Now this connection is for RLC circuit which is all connected in series. So here this is the connection which we have done. So all of us know this is an auto transformer where we give variable voltages. And these are voltmeters and ammeters. We don't have any wattmeter in this circuit. In place of resistance we use rheostat. In place of inductance we use a variable inductance load which is called as CHO. And here is your capacitance load, so single phase capacitor load, which acts as a capacitance in our circuit. We give an AC supply which 50H frequency here. So the, all the capacitance starts from the red, red of the auto transformer are variable. So this auto transformer, red is called as phase, black is called as neutral, where all the connections ends, and it begins at red. Here you can see there are two connections. From the beginning of the auto transformer, the red wire is connected to voltmeter starting. And the green wire is connected to ammeter starting. As I have said before, the extreme end, uh, left end is the starting. And from the ammeter, you can see it is going to rheostat. Rheostat, there is no uh, part, uh, you know, variable point or fixed point. We use these two points. So from red, it is going to the fixed part here. And from the other fixed part, it is going to inductance here inductance red one from black other terminal of the resistance to inductance from inductance you can see here it is going to capacitance you can see the green wire from inductance black wire you can see it is going to capacitance red wire from capacitance black wire you can see the red connection coming out all the way this is the longest wire here which goes to the black so that the circuit is complete and you can also see the voltmeter is connected to the black wire these two black wires will come but the voltmeter is connected in parallel to the auto transformer so that we can find out how much voltage we have given through the auto transformer so this is all about the importance of the auto transformer now i come to this voltmeter there are another three volt three voltmeters here one voltmeter is connected in parallel to the rheostat and resistance Another voltmeter is connected in parallel to the choke or coil or turns or winding or inductor. The other voltmeter is connected in parallel to the capacitor. These are the connections. You can see here this blue, you can see this uh, green wire and yellow wire. Green is connected to starting of the rheostat and yellow is connected to ending of the rheostat. These two are connected in parallel. In parallel voltage is same. In order to find out how much voltage drop across the resistance or the rheostat we connect voltmeter in parallel. Now coming to this one, you can see here, there are two wires coming up, one is blue wire, this is the blue wire which is connected and another wire is the black wire, you can see here, the blue wire and black wire which are connected in parallel to the choke, blue wire is connected to the red, black wire is connected to the black, they are connected in parallel to the choke, so that they are connected in parallel, or to measure the voltage across the inductance, we connect them in parallel. And finally we come to capacitance, you can see red and green wire, go across it, red is connected to the red terminal or the beginning terminal of the capacitor and black is connected to the, and the green is connected to the black of the capacitor. They are connected in parallel to the capacitor to measure the voltage. So finally we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters. This voltmeter measures the voltage given by the choke. I mean, uh, it's not choke, it is variable alternator. This ammeter gives me what is the current drawn by the RLC series circuit. This voltmeter measures voltage drop across resistance. This voltmeter draws voltage drop across reactance. This voltmeter measures voltage drop across the capacitance. So that's all we do the experiment. So how do you do the experiment? You have to switch it on and just take different values. I'm just varying the value. So you can take any values. I just take with 60. So I take the values are like 60, 80, 100 kind of thing. I kept it at 60. 60 volts. So what is the current? What is the total current taken? And what is voltage drop across the resistor is reflected here. Voltage drop across inductance approximately 20. Voltage drop across the capacitance approximately 56. So this is how it is being reflected. After 60, there are three more columns. So I make it to 80. It's all random. Like faculty can tell you to take any value or you can take any value. It's 80 I kept it. You can see the total current. You can see voltage drop across resistance. And again, voltage drop across inductance and voltage drop across the capacitors. The last one is, I just take three readings because it's there in the manual. I do it after 60, I took 80. From 80, now I'm taking 100 value, 100. So you can see the total current, voltage drop across resistance, voltage drop across reactance, voltage drop across the capacitors. 
basing on this you do the calculations and one verification is the current which you are getting for each value is the measured and observed should be same that is the check which we generally do in this inference experiment so here we have done rlc experiment now okay thank you